in particular. Um, we need to develop uh, wisdom. And Geshela recently gave this advice. He said, in truth, we practice pure view and clear appearance in the meditation session when we are engaged in meditative equipoise. So this is when we think, I am Vajrasattva in Vajrasattva's pure world. When we're concentrating in the meditation session. The rest of the time, outside the meditation session, we remember that the things we normally see do not exist. You know, this teaching must pervade our life. It's Geshe's heart instruction. We need to use it. We need to take it to work. Take it to work with us, like holding the hand of our loving Father. We hold his advice in our heart. Doesn't matter that we don't understand it. If we hold that advice in our heart, he'll bless us to come to understand it. It's going to liberate us from suffering forever. So of course, it's subtle. It's not so easy to understand. But if we're wishing to, and we take it to work, we remember, so this is uh, during the day, outside the meditation session, that the things that we see do not exist. And then he added another sentence, sublime. Remember to not believe that mistaken appearance is the truth. Remember to not believe. We're not going to be fooled anymore. Remember to not believe mistaken appearance is the truth. So you need to think about that one. There's a few negatives in there. But it's exquisite from the heart of the Wisdom Buddha. The things we normally see do not exist. And you go to work with that armor, the armor of Dharma. You're like, okay, today my Dharma research is that this morning I'm going to think about the things I normally see do not exist. But lots of things you're seeing and you think, don't worry, they're like hallucination, like a dream. Keep your peaceful mind focused on the true nature of things and we'll learn. So it's like fantastic. So um, through these examples, patience, moral discipline, uh, uh, meditating on virtue, wisdom, we will be able to give what I think is our best gift, our example. We'll be able to give a good example at home, when things are going badly at home, sickness, death, difficulty in our family, we'll show a good example. Peaceful heart, loving heart, wise heart. When things are difficult at work, we'll show a good example every day. Do you think that people aren't going to notice your good example? The world is short of peaceful people. The world is short of people who are always patient, loving, kind, inspired, uplifted, happy. We can be such a person, even in a simple way. Then do you know why we're giving the best gift? If you remember back to Friday night, way back, We were thinking about the value of Buddha Dharma and Sangha. Who is going to show the people of the modern world that there is a method to take away their pain? Who's going to show the people of the modern world they don't need to suffer any longer? The path to the cessation of suffering is right here at our Dharma Center, in our precious Kadampa books, and in our heart. Our example 
will make people want the inner wealth that we have. Naturally. It'll naturally happen. In the same way, why are we interested in Dharma? What really has interested us in the path to freedom and happiness? Kadam Dharma. Our Guru's example. Our teacher's example. The example of our Sangha friends. We see something that we want. We want it. We value it. And then we get it. So, um, I would say, uh, you know, if we really think the way my spiritual guide is benefiting the people of the modern world, practically benefiting the people of the modern world, is unsurpassed. Why is that? Real practical benefit. Real practical benefit. It's okay, it's a sign from Geshe I need to stop. Whenever you're trying to say something very important, there's always obstacles. So you pay no attention and you overcome those obstacles. When I heard Geshe say, the way Jason Kappa practically benefits living beings, his way is very unusual different from other enlightened beings. His way of practically benefiting is unsurpassed. I thought a little bit. I thought about it. What does practically benefiting really mean? So what have we understood from this festival? The world in which we live depends upon our mind. Everything depends upon our mind. Everything is imagined, imputed, created by mind. There are no phenomena that are not created by mind. Mere appearance to mind. If you really want to practically benefit people, you need to teach them that. You need to teach them. All phenomena are merely imputed. The things you normally see do not exist. You need to teach them the power of the mind. And if their mind becomes pure, their world is pure, all beings in it are pure, they have pure enjoyments and pure activities. There can be no greater way of practically benefiting people than this. So having some understanding, experience from our own Dharma research, we understand our root guru, Venerable Geshe Lal, his way of practically benefiting the people of the modern world is unsurpassed. That is not a dogmatic statement. If you check with wisdom, it's true. It's true. Then we think, when I think of the way my root guru is practically benefiting the people of this modern world. When we deeply think, Geshe says in our own experience, from his experience, tears will come. Appreciating the unbelievable kindness of living Jason Kappa, living Buddha in our world. Then we will think naturally, and this mind is coming, through our deep appreciation of the value of the Dharma, Buddha and Sangha that we found, we'll wish to repay that unequal kindness. The way we repay our Guru's kindness is becoming a pure example that the teachings work. We become a living example that the, that the teachings work. <laughs>